Hey, what is up everybody? It's AJ here and in today's video, we have a very special one for you. In front of me is the new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, which was released a couple of months ago. It's still actually not out in Australia, so I'm fortunate enough to get my hands on one before it releases here officially next year. And we're gonna run a few benchmarks on the new Surface Laptop Studio to see how it compares. So I've run a few benchmarks before on the Surface Laptop 4 with the Ryzen's and the Intel processors. I've also got my own Surface Book 3 top spec that I do a lot of my video editing on. So I feel that as this device is replacing the Surface Book 3, it's only fair to run a comparison between the Book 3 and the new Surface Laptop Studio. I do want to caveat though that the Surface Laptop Studio that we have in front of me here is the base model or the entry level, which is a i5 11-3700H processor, 16 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD, but no dedicated graphics card. I am really excited though to test out the CPU inside of this device, because I think jumping from the Intel G series up into the uh, 11th generation H series is gonna have a really big performance difference, even though we're going i5 11th gen against my Surface Book 3 i7 10th gen. Of course, um, we're gonna run through a number of different benchmarks, and then I'm gonna do a battery test on this. I'm gonna do the battery test a little bit differently. I'm actually gonna run this device as my own for the day, and I'm gonna see how much battery life I actually get out of it with actual usage. So when I'm using my computer, I'm gonna be timing it, and then when I'm not using it, I'm gonna turn the timer off, and then I'll let you know how much battery I get from full charge all the way down to zero on a typical day's usage. Of course, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this. So looking at the SSD speeds from the Surface Book 3 and the Surface Laptop Studio, one thing you can see here is that both hard drives are extremely quick, but there is actually some performance gains to be had moving up to the Surface Laptop Studio, especially when you're looking at the write speeds um, of this device compared to the Book 3. Looking at the CPU scores in Geekbench 5 of the Laptop Studio over the Book 3, the i5 in the Laptop Studio actually has significant gains over the i7 in the Book 3 in both single and multi-core workloads. Single core workloads, we see about a 20% increase, and in multi-core, you're looking at about a 35% increase. The Book 3 is no slouch, but they've done an even better job in getting more power and more performance out of the Surface Laptop Studio, even in the i5 variant. When we're looking at the Geekbench 5 GPU scores, this one was probably the most obvious to predict. The Surface Book 3 with its dedicated Quadro graphics card that has six gigs of dedicated memory absolutely smokes the integrated Intel Iris in the Surface Laptop Studio by more than four times. Now this was pretty obvious to expect. You have a dedicated graphics card versus an Intel integrated chipset. Um, so this was a very unfair comparison, but I thought I'd run the test anyway. And what I actually wanna see here is I'd love to get my hands on a Surface Laptop Studio, which actually comes with a dedicated graphics card, the NVIDIA 3050. And I would actually love to rerun these tests and see what sort of performance gains you get from the Surface Laptop Studio with a dedicated graphics card compared to that of the Surface Book 3.
The scores we saw in Cinebench R23 are very similar to what we saw in Geekbench 5. In both the multi and the single core threaded workloads, the i5 in the Surface Laptop Studio just beat out the i7 in the Surface Book 3. In the single core workloads, the Surface Laptop Studio scored 1384, or about a 15% increase over the i7 in the Book 3 that scored 1051. But what is really, really impressive in the Laptop Studio is in the multi-threaded workloads. The i5 here scored a really impressive 5,251 compared to the Surface Book 3 that scored 3,090. What this gets me really, really excited for though is we're currently comparing the i5 Laptop Studio against the i7 Book 3. I would love to see how the i7 Laptop Studio performs and how that compares to the Book 3 because that would be an even more fair comparison. But if we're seeing the i5 already beating out the Book 3, it'd be really interesting to see what the i7 can do. One of the biggest differences I noticed though in all of these benchmarks is the fact that even when I was putting the Laptop Studio under heavy stress, there was two things that really stood out to me. There was very minimal fan noise coming out of the Surface Laptop Studio compared to that of the Book 3. The Book 3 did tend to get a lot hotter, a lot warmer, and the fan was a lot louder. The Surface Laptop Studio, really, I could tell the fan was on, but only for two ways. The first one was putting my hands near the vents and actually feeling the warm air coming out. And the second was getting my ear close enough to the device to hear the fan turn on. So when you're looking at a laptop, if the laptop is staying cool, and the laptop is staying quite quiet, that really does say a lot for the thermals in that device. And I think Microsoft has done an awesome job in increasing the thermal performance of the laptop studio compared to that of the Book 3. And now, of course, the all important test for any laptop, which is the battery life. The way I ran the battery life test on the Surface Laptop Studio was I set this up as my everyday computer. So I put all my programs on there and I ran it from 100% all the way down to 0% without giving the screen a break to turn off. I kept the screen at 120 hertz to make sure it was at maximum performance. I kept the battery settings at recommended and I let it have auto brightness so it would change the brightness depending on the room that we're in. What I ran on the computer was how I'd run my regular day. I'd have my emails open, I took my Teams calls and my video calls, I'd have multiple Chrome tabs and Edge tabs open, I'd be on YouTube, I'd be playing music on here, and what I saw was a really great number at the end of the test. The Surface Laptop Studio battery life scored seven hours and 24 minutes of continuous use. Now, that is a full day of productivity for me. This would easily get me through a nine hour workday when I have breaks throughout the day. So along with being an extremely powerful computer, even the i5 variant, it's also really cool, really quiet, and of course it has the battery life to keep going all day. So there you guys have it. That is my benchmarking test of the Surface Laptop Studio i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and the Intel Iris graphics. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And of course, if you're on a supercharged way to use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Also, let me know what your thoughts are on the Surface Laptop Studio in the comment section down below. And if there's anything you want me to test on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.